Hey, this is Chris Wall, and if you haven't signed up for the Getting Started with PowerShell and PowerCLI for your VMware environment session yet, that's INF8038, starring Kyle Ruddy and myself, Chris Wall, here's a little teaser. So this is some code we're going to go through in greater detail at the session. Maybe it'll entice you to sign up and come out. So I have the PowerShell ISE, or Integrated Scripting Environment, open. Let's say that we want to tease apart some values for our DRS settings within a cluster. So the first thing I like to do is define variables. And I like to make a little comment up here, like, hey, these are variables, just so that people reading the code know what the heck is going on in my noodle. So we're going to define a variable for the cluster here. I'm going to say the cluster's name is demo. And I'm actually using single quotes because there's nothing to interpret there. It's generally a best practice to use the single quotes uh, when you just have some kind of literal piece of information to pass, and double quotes when you want the interpreter to actually tease out a variable or something like that. So that should be it for the actual variables that I'll need to get information on my cluster. Now let's uh, let's gather some data. So let's gather some cluster data. There you go. Another little comment to help out those reading my code, reading my insanity. And I want to actually store that into a variable I've already defined a little bit earlier called cluster config. And I'm actually using lower camel case uh, because that's just the way I like to do it. So let's actually set that to get cluster. And the name of that cluster is the cluster variable. And that way I can reuse the lower half of the code over and over and just really have to worry about modifying stuff in the variable section. So let's actually run that. And I'm already connected to a power CLI session, so I'm connected to a vCenter server already. And nothing seems to happen. And that's because I'm just running the code and all of the information is actually stored in cluster config. So if I highlight that and hit F8, it'll actually tease apart, I'll, I'll raise this just a little bit, some of the information that's in there. But what's neat is I can actually dig into a lot of other information. If I type out the variable and then dot it, PowerShell's um, ISE is pretty nice to actually help me out with all the little objects that are within here. So I can scroll through all these objects. And if I want the DRS automation level, I can actually just select that, hit F8 to run that line, and it's saying, hey, it's fully automated. So we saw that a little bit earlier in the bottom section of the console when it's kind of set out as a table, but we can also specifically call out that piece of information. So let's actually look at that and say, Logically, we want to make sure that that's always fully automated. You know, we don't want a partially automated or non-automated, you know, disabled environment. So let's put an if statement in front of that. And then some parentheses. We're essentially just doing some logic here. So if that value, which we already know is fully automated, does not equal fully automated, we want to do some things. So I'm just saying, logically, check the value of the cluster config, specifically DRS automation level. And if it's not equal, that's the NE to the term fully automated, we want to do something. So that's the end of the logic statement there. And I can now provide curly braces to start doing some stuff. So maybe I just want to write a warning. I just want you know some human to say, this is not cool. So maybe it's a message of who borked my cluster. It's not a very helpful message, but it's all in good fun. And that may be just all that happens. And actually, if I run that, you just see a little warning at the bottom, who borked my cluster? Um, and if I actually run all the code here, if I just run the whole thing, nothing's going to happen. Right? There's nothing actually occurring because that's not true. It's not equal to anything else other than fully automated. So we pass this test, and the code within the if statement doesn't run. Now, if we just want to see what that would look like if it did run, we could say equal to that. And then we'll say, hey, who, who borked my cluster? That's because it, the DRS automation level is equal to fully automated. But we can do even more with that. Let's say if it's not equal to fully automated, we also want to do something about it. We don't have to simply report on it. We could also say, well, let's fix it if we find that condition to be true. So if we set the cluster value, there we go, set cluster commandlet for DRS, I'm just using my arrow key, automation level. And if I space, this thing called IntelliSense is running at the bottom, and it's telling me all the options that are available. So I can say, hey, set it to fully automated. So set the cluster specifically the DRS automation level, to fully automated anytime we find that it is not fully automated. And this could just be the entirety of the script. We could also actually take this piece of it, this fully automated piece, and make that a variable as well. So DRS level or something like that could be fully automated. And then we could replace all of these little pieces with the DRS level. And that way we can continue to reuse the code over and over again. There we go. And you can see that, again, nothing's going to happen because we are already set to fully automated. But if we weren't, then it would fix that and throw a little warning saying, hey, who borked my cluster? So if you like that little five minute teaser, come on out to session INF8038. It's getting started with PowerShell and PowerCLI for your VMware environment. And myself, along with Kyle Ruddy, will answer all of your questions. We'll show you some code. We'll teach you about modules and snap-ins and kind of the whole ecosystem and lingo behind PowerShell. And hopefully you'll leave a little bit more jazzed up about the world of automation with PowerShell scripting.